I'm Jackie M and I'm going to show you how to flip roti chai. I've got some roti dough here that I made last night and they've all been coated in ghee and allowed to sit overnight and I am going to show you what I do with it next. I've just got some ghee here to my right and what you want to do is just flatten the dough with the palm of your hand. Just make sure the edges are as thin as possible. What you want to do next is, assuming you're right-handed, you want your left hand on top and your right hand underneath the dough, okay? And you're going to just lift up your right elbow in a figure eight motion and flip it. Now, you want to move your, palm, the, the, your left hand along the perimeter of the dough and just use your, right palm, uh, your left palm to guide the flipping process, okay? And you want to get this as thin as possible. Now, if the whole flipping thing escapes you, you can actually get a very good result just by stretching the dough. But to stretch it, just be very, very careful. Lift up the edges gently and just pull them very, very gently on the surface area, okay? Here we go. Now I'm just going to dab a bit of ghee in the middle before I fold it up. Lift up the sides and fold them in a third of the way in. And again, the other way as well. So there you go. That's already chanai. Usually I like to let it rest for another minute or so before I start cooking it. So I've got a non-stick griddle here, you can just use a non-stick pan if you like. And I'm just going to put a bit of ghee on it and cook the roti on. This roti is a little bit big for this pan but we'll see how we go. Just cook it on uh, medium heat I would say, it's probably your best bet. You can see how it's just fluffing up and that's because of the layers of ghee in between all the all the folds. There you go, this is what the roti looks like at the end and you just want to clap it. Like that, just to break it up a little bit and release some of the air pockets before you serve. Selamat makan!